Hello, balloon. Well, now I'm going to complete your balloon twister. And this time I'm going to teach you how to make a two balloon lion. Roar! This is a really simple balloon. Anybody can make it. Let me show you how. For this design, you'll need two balloons. I'll be using a brown 260 for the mane and a yellow 260 for the body. We're going to start with the body. Get your yellow 260 out and inflate it halfway. Let's them out and tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. We're going to start with the muzzle. Make two bubbles, very small. Make sure you don't let them go. We're gonna twist this knot here into this seam. Then take it and push it through the seam in the middle. That keeps it from coming undone. Now give the balloon a squeeze and make two very tiny bubbles. You can see these bubbles are about half the size of those. These are like half an inch, those are like an inch. Now you want to make five bubbles, all the same size, all a little bit bigger than an inch. Make sure the balloon is soft and stretched because you don't want it popping on you. So there's one bubble, two, three, four, five. So these five here should all be about the same size. Now we're going to twist this seam here into this seam here. And one of my bubbles came undone. Can't have that. That'll happen if you don't twist it enough. So make sure you twist it all the way. Keep it coming undone on you. Now we're gonna twist this seam here where the small bubble meets the big bubble to this seam here where it meets the rest of the balloon. This should give you a loop with all five bubbles. We're gonna take the muzzle and push it through the center, leaving those two bubbles here on the back, the small ones. Now we're gonna pinch twist this bubble and this bubble. These are gonna be the ears of our lion. Grab it gently, pull it, while pinching it and twist it. This makes the ears. These are the most likely to pop, so make sure they were soft. Now our lion has a muzzle and a head and two ears. Now we need to make the rest of the body. The rest of the body is a simple dog body. So give the balloon a stretch. You should have just a little bit left. We're gonna make a small neck. Two sections. The length is up to you. I'll get to judge to see how much of the balloon I have left. Twist this seam here into this seam here. We have those front dog leg bodies that we use on so many balloon animals. And we make a section for the body. We want to make two more legs that same length. If you're running out of balloon here, it's okay to make them a little bit smaller than the front legs. It'll just make it look like it's sitting. So we have two more about the same length. We're going to twist this seam here into this seam here. Now we have the body. One more thing I like to do with the tail is I'll bend it down and up again to sort of give it a little uh, S shape. Then I give it a very gentle massage and that'll shape it so I can give it a lot more personality. Give it a small amount of adjustments. Now if you've been with me for a while, you're thinking, hey, that looks just like the cat that he taught us earlier. Link in the description. And it is. This is an extension of the cat. And what do lions have that cats don't? That's right, a mane. Get your brown balloon that we're gonna use for the mane and inflate it halfway. Let's them out. Give it a good squeeze and a stretch. We want this one to be really soft because we don't want it popping on us. We're gonna attach this knot here into one of the ears on the head. But instead of twisting the ear around, we're gonna take the knot and we're gonna wrap it around the ear. We don't want that ear to be twisted anymore because it's gonna get more and more likely it's gonna pop. Pin twists are notorious for popping the more you play with them. Now I'm gonna twist it from one ear to the other. I'm gonna twist the section, give it a squeeze, get some slack, wrap the slack around the ear. Do the same down to the neck. And back up to the ear. So you can see the back of the head right there. Now we're gonna go from the front one ear to the other ear again. But we're gonna do a much bigger one. This is gonna be the top of the head. Twist your section once you have the length. Get some slack. And wrap it around that pinch twist. I'm gonna break off, making sure I have a little bit of slack. So I can wrap it over to the other ear. And wrap it around. And that's just to hold it in place so it's not gonna come undone on me. Now I'm gonna position the ears just a little bit. There we go. Straighten them up. You can see I've positioned the back of the head. I'm gonna put the parts of the mane on the sides of the ears. 
You can see it looks like that on the back and that on the front. How cool is that looking? One thing you might notice is that with the extra balloon from the main, he's looking down. If you want him to look up, just position it a little bit forward more to where the neck sits behind the main and he'll look more forward. Isn't that cool? Now it's time to do our artwork. For the artwork, I'm going to be using a black Sharpie and a white paint marker. I'm going to start with the nose. Draw a large triangle on the top of the muzzle. And now we're going to draw three whiskers coming out of each side. Make sure they're really thick whiskers because this is no pansy cat. Now I'm going to draw two eyebrows up here on this bubble. And then below each one of those eyebrows, I'm going to draw a round circle filled in. And there we have our face. Now we're going to use a white paint marker just to give it a little bit more character. Make sure to shake it. I'm gonna draw a small circle on the top right corner of each eye. Make sure you wait for that to dry before you give it to the kid. And that's it for the white paint marker. But as you can see, it gives him so much more character. He has a gleam of hope in his eyes that he might eat you for lunch. I'm just kidding, this line's on a narrow only diet. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button. If you want more balloon animal lessons, check the playlist in the description. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons. Even lions. Rawr.